Okay, hello. Here we are again back at the third tutorial with keyword research. And what I'm going to do in this one is basically, so let's say you find a keyword. We're going to go with, we found a keyword, now what do you do with it? Um, a lot of you already have an idea of how you're going to be marketing your keywords. Some people don't have an idea, or maybe they have an idea, but they think they want to branch out into doing other things. Um, once you have a keyword, a really good idea is to kind of maybe use all of your marketing efforts and target that keyword. So, for example, um, just to go back to our example, I'm just going to type in home-based business, which is, of course, general and see what comes up with that. Okay, here's all our searches here. And let's see what a good one might be for this. Home-based business tax, here's home-based business party. I'm gonna try to find home-based business expenses. Now, this, for example, home-based business expenses, that's actually, you know, the word itself, or the, the expression, the phrase, um, would be very easy to include in any of your marketing because it's not worded weird or anything like that. It's, it's something that you could easily say. Now, the searches are only 73, or at least they, that was the average last year but the competition is very low on this one. So, internet marketing home-based business. Now that one's, there's a lot of searches for that, and the competition is not quite as high as maybe some other ones. But what you wanna do, when you really wanna get down to, av to figuring out what the competition, what the exact competition is, instead of just looking at this bar, is you wanna type it in yourself into Google to see how many results come up. So I'm going to first, I'm going to start out with this one because there are just so many searches for this, this internet marketing home-based business, okay, which here, as you can see, the competition doesn't seem quite so high in this bar, and this month's searches were 12,100. So what you do now is you come over and open up another window to Google, MSN here and you type that exact term, I copied it, and I'm going to type it in here with quotes. You need to do it with the quotes around it because that means that's the exact term. And I'm going to hit Google search. Okay, now that's still pretty competitive because there are 636,000 results for that term, which means results are the people who are providing information about that term. So that's pretty high. Um, it depends on what kind of what you're using the term for, what kind of marketing you're doing. In article marketing, if you're just starting out, the, this amount of results is quite high. So we're not going to choose that term for our article marketing. However, you could maybe choose it for PPC. It wouldn't be quite as this number wouldn't matter quite so much at PPC if you targeted your keyword exactly. I said nobody here has targeted those words exactly on that page. So, And that's something else I'll show you in other PPC tutorials is how to do that. But we're going to focus on finding the right keywords for articles. So let's go back and choose another one. Home-based business expenses. Now here again, search volume very low for this one, but it comes up nonetheless. So we're going to put that in between the quotes. Okay, and that's 300,000. It's a little bit better, but that's still actually quite high. We're looking for something that's under 30,000 in terms of using a keyword to write an article. Okay, so let me try something else here. Let's go back to the Google. These are all pretty compared. So I'm going to come back up here. Home-based business ideas. I think that's one we used. I'll add a little extra tail on there. Okay. 
let's see what we have here. Good home-based business ideas. Let's try that one. That seems like a logical concept. See, now this is getting closer. 45,200. That's even doable, I would say. I'd say that this one, good home-based business ideas, would be a great term that you could use in an article a couple of times. And because the competition is pretty low, again, we're looking for under 30,000, but this is this is fine because it is a longer tail keyword. Um, you could do an article with this as your keyword. And I will go into more details about how you want to do an article using this as your keyword in other tutorials. But right now, let's look at another one. So this is one you could target. Let me write this. Okay. And let's see if we can get even closer. Top 10 home-based business ideas. Let's find one with a few searches. All right, this says 2009, but since it's 2010, when I'm doing this video, we're not going to use that one. Um, great home based business ideas. These all have ideas for a home based business, but the competition is quite high on that one. You just have to spend a little bit of time. Home based business ideas that work. Or look at this one. Opportunities, home internet, business ideas, home based business. Now see for an article there's no way you would be able to do that, so that's not worth it in terms of article, you know, writing for an article. Business ideas, home based business. Again, that's hard in terms of writing an article. Of home based internet. Home based business ideas that. Well that would be something that you could do. Small home based business. Let's do something home based business internet. Anyway, you get the idea here. You want to kind of play around with something that's similar to what you know you're doing and just try to find Christian internet based home business. Home-based internet business reviews. That's not a bad one. You can home-based internet business reviews. Let's see. That, that would be very plausible to be able to write a review of something or about the internet business itself. Let's see what that one says. Put that in between the quotes. See, and this one is even better, 35,000. So home-based internet business reviews. That could be something that you could use for an article. Now again, if you're in a very competitive niche like internet marketing or something like that you're gonna have to really kinda dig for these keywords that are under 30,000 in terms of results um, but you can do it and you just kinda have to keep playing around with it like I just did so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you a tool that I use instead of the Google AdWords tool that actually allows you to see exactly how many people are searching for that term and how many people are providing the information, the results on that term, so the competition, in the exact same page, which is very useful instead of having to go th back and forth and do this all this kind of research. But if you don't, you know, have the time or the, the money, I guess, to spend on a tool like the one that I'm about to show you, this is the way that you want to do it. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.